y'all doing today? I am R4. Y'all gonna come watch me today. This is my YouTube premiere. We're out here in the Mississippi heat. It's cooling down a little bit, but as you can see, I am soaked with sweat. All right, we're gonna move right over here and I'm gonna show you what's going on at the back here of my trusty old mule. All right, we're back here. I got my 357 pistol here. I got my ammo we're going to test out today is some shot shells. We have the, what you used to, only thing you get was the number nine shot CCI, but recently, last, uh, I'm not sure about the exact timing of that, but they came out with the 38, 357 big four. I want to show you if you can see the difference. I don't know if my camera will focus, but that's the number nine shot. You can see it's got the smaller pellets. We got the number four shot. Okay. All right, but uh, before we get to shooting, I just want to give you a little backstory on this gun here. This is a 357 revolver. Most of y'all have probably never seen a Western Marshall 357 revolver. Let me check it out here. We're going to pick it up. I'm just going to, all right. Okay, now, this gun was imported, I'm not sure by how to say the name, but Ohio Firearm Company in Los Angeles, California. It was made in Western Germany by the SIG, or excuse me, the J.P. Sauer and Son Company. Now, J.P. Sauer and Son had a few mergers and today, um, SIG has dropped the Sauer, but it was SIG Sauer, now it's SIG. But this is one of the original firearms from the base of that company. All right, so we'll get to shooting here in a minute. All right. We're going to get her loaded up here in a minute. We're going to start with a couple rounds of this number nine shot. I've got my target set up over there. We're going to start off. We're going to shoot it at three yards. We're going to go to five yards. We're going to go to seven yards just to see how it patterns. So you know when you're killing varmints or shooting at varmints that you know how we're, you know, what group we're getting. All right. I'll cut back and I'll have her loaded up in just we're a moment. For three yards. It's not very far, as you see. But when you're shooting at a varmint snake, something of that nature, you might be this close to it. So we're going to see how it patterns at three yards. All right, let's go ahead and take a shot at that. So here we go. I'm going to shoot here at the upper left-hand corner because I feel like we have a pretty tight group. We're going to check it out and see. We had a little target malfunction there, but... I did say this is my YouTube premiere. Y'all remember that when you're watching the video. All right, we're back here. We got the same number nine shot CCI. I'm going to take a second shot here at the five yard mark. Now, we'll talk about all, I want to get all the shots in and then we'll come back and I'll show you what our results are. All right, here we go. Get my ears on. I'm going to shoot down below that, tell them the middle of the left, see what we got. About where the tape crosses. We're going to take one last shot here with this number 9 CCI shot shells. I'm going to shoot the bottom part of that target, see if we can knock it over one more time with these number 9s. All right, here we go. Let me get ready here. First shot with our number nine CCI shot shells. Number nine pellet that is. All right, at three yards. I may have had one or two get off the board here, but for the most part, I think we got about a five and a half inch group on that. All right, looks like the plastic piece went right through the center there. All right, when I backed up to the five yards, got all of them on there. I know I'm not an artist, they are overlapping. But as you can see, it looks to be about 14 and a half inch spread on that group there. Again, the plastic went right through there, the little plastic container they're in. When I backed up to seven yards, uh, probably got some off over here. 
for the most part I would probably say 20 and a half inches on that and it's not I mean they are very spread out there so that's the seven yards with that CC We're back. number nine. Fresh new target got the 357 loaded up with the big four number four pellet CCI shot shells we're gonna see we take a gander at that with three shots in about the same manner we did a few moments ago the three yards the five yards and the seven yards and start with that all right I was gonna wait till after the video to show you this but I'm gonna go ahead and Oh, my target is falling apart as we speak. We'll get that fixed up in a minute. <laughs> right there, that's a piece of the shot cup. <sighs> Give me a few moments, I'll get it set right back up. It'll seem like it's just a half a second. Right, I think the target's gonna make it for two more shots. But we're going back at the five yards with the big four, number four shot, CCI. All right, one last shot here at seven yards with the CCI number four, big four shot shell. Here we go. beautiful target pieces of the plastic shot cup or just stuck everywhere in it but all right here at the three yard with the number four the big four CCI we got about a five and a half inch screw the shot cup went through right there it appears to be here we are at the five yard shot it spread on out we got about 11 inches of coverage there uh, on that spread Looks like the shot cup hit about right here and bounced out. Um, so we'll move on over here to the seven yard. At the seven yard, we actually got about 17 and a half inches and uh, they're pretty spread out. Maybe the shot cup hit right there and bounced out. But that's what we got. We got one little flyer over here I didn't include in my nice artistic Thank drawing. you for watching near the uh, R4 Mississippi Gunner, which is myself. Now, um, I got to this information. I hope you can use this information about the two shot shells, the CCI number nine shot, and also the number four shot, the big four, also made by CCI. Maybe you also learned something about the Western Marshall you didn't know, that little revolver. All right, if you like this type of videos, please like and subscribe. I will have better targets in the next video. God bless America, and thank you for watching.